Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here to do um, another random general collective love update. Okay this reading is for the collective it is not going to resonate with all of you. If it doesn't resonate with you it's okay don't panic. Um, uh, just take what does resonate, leave what doesn't, don't try to squish it in, you know. And um, if you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow if you haven't already, right? Um, and like, subscribe, comment, share, um, the whole nines. You guys have been absolutely fabulous. Thank you so, so much for all of your support. You're my family now, you know? Yay! Anyway, um, and if you're new to the channel, hi, um, go ahead and subscribe, join the family, you know, we're all growing here together. Uh, and this channel is for adults only. I have to get a faster spiel here. I'm getting winded before I even get started. Okay, so um, what we have here is a masculine energy, okay? We're dealing with the King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, somebody who's uh, very financially stable, somebody who um, could be a boss, business owner. Um, but this person, I feel, is very overwhelmed, all right? Uh, I feel like they're, they're kind of taking care of a lot at once here. Um, they're doing well, you know, but yeah, I feel like this could also be a committed person since I have the Queen of Pentacles right here wanting to sabotage this connection. Um, but this person here, your person, this King of Pentacles, I really feel like they kind of have, have had enough of all the juggling. They're juggling a lot of things at once here, very overwhelmed. Um, trying to remain stable and grounded, but they're reaching up here for that one pentacle. I feel like this person wants a new beginning. Um, they want, they just want to be happy, you know? This king of pentacles, they just want to be happy. Um, and I feel like they're with somebody who's vindictive, who's, uh, you know, the queen of pentacles here along with the five of swords. This five of swords, this is the worst card in the deck as far as I'm concerned. I think it's worse than devil energy to be honest with you because this kind of backstabbing and betrayal and uh, just ruining and wrecking things, you know, this is stuff that's fun for this person in the Five of Swords, okay? And I think, um, I think your person has just, I feel like they've had enough of the backstabbing and the vindictiveness and this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like that's why this Queen of Pentacles is being vindictive, selfish. This is somebody who betrays you, brings you down, stabs you in the back, steals your stuff, whatever they want to do. Basically, this is a bully and they walk away smiling and laughing about it. Like, yeah, ha ha, you know what I mean? That's this. And this is what this Queen of Pentacles is like, the, the, the person that, you're, that your person is committed to, okay? Very vindictive, selfish, inconsiderate um, energy here from this Five of Swords. And I feel very much like this Queen of Pentacles is all about the money. All about the money. While your person is doing all the work and look, and taking care of everything and overwhelmed, we've got this bully of a person here who is just, you know, in the lap of luxury here and just keeping track of all of the money. Your person has one pentacle that they have their hand on. One. And the queen of pentacles has the whole dang pile. Okay? So I feel like this queen of pentacles, whoever your person is committed to, is just all about the money. And and they're, they're a bully that sabotages and backstabs and 
really bad energy off of that. And your person, they just want to be happy. They, they're really hanging on to this one pentacle that's all that they get out of earning all of this, all of this pentacles, right? All these pentacles. They've got that one that they're hanging on to because they really want this new beginning. That ace of pentacles there, that's a new beginning. This person just wants to be happy. Um, and I feel like it's been a struggle. Look, they're struggling to get to the end of this like, ah, do you see that? I've got to make it to the end. They're like pulling a ton of weight here, this one person pulling all of the weight. That's what I'm talking about. This one person pulling all of the weight while, while this Queen of Pentacles reaps the reward because this looks like a slave person to me okay and they're attached to all this burden here all this burden all that weight that they're just dragging along yeah they know this is at a completion I don't think this person's going to be able to pull this weight much longer but like I said I keep going back to this they just want to be happy they just want to be happy um, I, I feel like the foundation here is coming down not just for not just for their commitment and this person just can't carry the weight anymore they can't they can't pull this anymore man they're really really freaking struggling with this but their tower moment here um, the tower moments coming down on your guys's connection as well I feel like you're in the Queen of Wands energy. Um, not wasting your time with this anymore. Not going to let, uh, allow anyone to play any games with you. Going after the things that you want with a passion and your happiness. Very beautiful. You're, you're the sexiest and most beautiful queen in the whole entire deck. And I think you're just not dealing with it. This is... This is you just saying, I'm, I'm just kind of done. I'm, this is leaving me empty-handed here and, uh, and, and uh, empty-hearted. And I need to go and follow my own passion because I want my happiness too. The Queen of Wands is all about going after her happiness as well. You know, but I feel like this is crumbling for, for as far as the, like the connection. And your person knows it. They're struggling with all of it, trying to reach the end of this, trying to reach the end of all of their burdens. And I, I feel like they're just trying to get to you, but that's crumbling as well. That's crumbling as well. Because you're just not wasting your time on it anymore. Your person really wants to tell you how they feel about you, you know? They want to transform this situation here. They want to uh, give you an apology, tell you how they feel. This could be something that's um, uh, um, the divine is like intervening in the background, you know. This situation could possibly transform with whatever they have to say to you or whatever love offer that this person makes. It could very well transform this situation, but um, will they make it in time? Because already the foundation is crumbling. They've been giving most of their energy um, into this other commitment that's falling apart as well because they're with someone very vindictive, very selfish, very bully-like for money. But you're not wasting your time on that, you know? Um, I feel like you're cutting some things out here. I feel like this is you having clarity in this situation that, you know, will it ever end kind of thing, you know? Because even though your person wants to be happy, they want a new beginning, they're with somebody, you know, who's money hungry and selfish, okay? Um, and they're at the end. They're at the end of 
of, of their rope. Hold on a second. Oh no, maybe they'll be quiet. Okay. The kids, the kids are getting in the, in the house, um, after seeing a movie. Anyway, um, no, 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 here they come. Hi. What'd you get? I got pulled over. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Great. One moment, please. Sorry about that, everybody. I had to talk to my daughter. She got pulled over tonight. It's her first time being pulled over, so, but everything's good, everything's okay. And I'm actually glad they pulled her over because, you know, it's just, they're, they're watching out for her, you know? So anyway, yeah, um, you've gotten clarity already on this situation. I, I really feel like um, you have put, been put through hell <laughs> through this dragged through the mud, had the sword stuck in your back. Um, you had to get your own clarity on this because I don't think anybody came forward um, to even make this right. You know, um, this to me is the Empress card in the deck, the All Gifted. You're very intuitive, you're highly connected to the Divine, you're very extremely abundant. Um, you've transformed, you know. Uh, you had to work for it. You put in a lot of effort into yourself, your healing, right? Your, um, your spiritual journey, your future abundance, you know, and, and I think you, through that journey, you've come to realize that will you ever, will, will anyone ever rise to the occasion and bring you clarity? Okay, and I think you're realizing, no, probably not. And at that moment, that is your clarity. That is your clarity, is the fact that you just need to have some acceptance. Okay, acceptance. Because you've transformed already. You know, the thing about the Empress, the all gifted, you're very, very gifted because you're extremely abundant and very creative, okay? Um, but uh, you're every queen in the deck and you're just fine all by yourself. You know, sh this is usually somebody who's independent, self-reliant, doesn't need anyone. You know, and that's also part of your clarity. Do you really require, you know, the company of any of these people because you haven't required the company of these people for a very long time. Think about the words. Do you require the company of any of these people? No. You don't. No, you don't. You don't require the company, number one, of anyone besides the divine. Right? Because you're okay all by yourself. You don't need anyone. And you definitely don't require the company of people who are going to stab you in the back, not bring you clarity, you know, F you over, right? If somebody isn't going to come in and do right by you and communicate with you and, and they, they F'd you over before, no, you probably don't require the company of any of those people. You're realizing that through your transformation period, okay? So I think basically you had to give yourself clarity in this. You did, you took the reins of your own life, you took control of your own future and your own happiness, and you gave yourself clarity. You cut people out of your life who handed you the scissors to do it, you know, and now you're like standing here all gorgeous, all transformed because you did the work and ready to open up the treasures of your, your brand new future. Yeah, and you're going you're gonna to hold on to the sword too because you expect the truth from people, you know. Yeah, you're, I mean, this whole situation, it looks like, is quite a mess. Really, it looks like the whole situation is a mess. You know, yeah. I feel like, I feel like this is you. 
sitting here meditating. You, you could be lounging around this next day or two just thinking about this. Okay, now think about this for a minute. Like I said, you're all alone here except for your dog. Okay, which is great because, you know, you're all about loyalty. And you've suffered a lot of heartache and betrayal. Okay, in a third party situation because they put you in, this person put you in a third party situation. And it, it, it just made you suffer. So you're tapping that blade, this one, thinking about it all because you're all alone here. I don't see anyone here helping you work through it. I don't see anyone here helping you um, come to any clarity. And I definitely don't see anyone in this picture helping you on your transformation. You do, you're doing it all alone. You're getting your own clarity here. And you're hanging on to that sword because if you need to, you'll know exactly who to cut out of your life. And you'll know exactly how to communicate all of that. You know, because you're really, what you want is this. You're sitting here thinking about all this, okay? You're like, okay, well, in this situation over here, all I got was heartache and there's no one around me. I want to fill my life with this instead. So you know what, I need, to, I need to cut all of this out. Maybe even speak your truth. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is you bringing on your own clarity and starting to realize, you know, you're wasting your time and energy thinking about this that doesn't, doesn't do anything for you but bring you pain when you should be trying to focus on this, your ton of cups. A wish like fulfilled okay this is this is a fairy fairy tale ending a fairy tale life and that's what it is that you really want as you sit here and meditate on all of this you're the one giving yourself the clarity I see these people over here still playing freaking games you're over here transforming your life you know for real that's your clarity that's your clarity, knowing exactly what it is that you want. Okay, what else can you show me for the person watching? This is kind of deep, but I'm very proud. What else can you show me for the person watching? What else? Judgment. Yeah, you're making a judgment call. You're like, you know what? I... I Here's my clarity. I'm going to give myself some dang clarity because no one else is going to do it for me. Okay? Yeah. I've had enough of the third party situations, the heartbreak, the betrayal, the pain, the hurt, nobody being around me, me having to heal from this crap by myself. I want my ten of cups. I'm done with this kind of crap. You're, you're making a judgment call here. You're done. Yeah. Princess of Swords. That's it. Done. There's that Sword of Clarity right there, right at your hip. Pointing right at the situation. This, I'm cutting out. Yeah. Yeah, High Priestess energy. And Ace of Wands, heck yeah. And Strength, heck yeah. And Victory, yes. This is what I'm talking about. As soon as you dis have give yourself clarity and acceptance, know exactly what it is that you deserve and what you want, and take the reins of your own life and make a judgment call and say enough is enough, I deserve better, that's when you get your victory because you're strong you know that's that's when you can that's when you show the most strength yeah high priestess ace of wands you know what it is that you want you want this passionate new beginning your way your way and a high priestess isn't going to settle for less yep 
a high priestess isn't going to settle for less. That's what this should be called. All right, give me a couple more here and then we'll call it a night. What do you guys say? Give me a couple more cards here for the person watching. What is this what is this person going to end up doing here? This Queen of Swords. Clarify the 5 of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, the Moon and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this this Queen of Pentacles is coming here and tr wanting to attack they uh, they're going to end up not having a whole lot with the two of pentacles and this person's all about money if the if their relationship with your person falls apart and they're all about money they're coming with a dagger and two uh two dogs showing their teeth seriously cuz this person we already know is very vindictive selfish a bully and they're all about the coin. So if they feel like they, they're they going to be struggling financially, they're coming. Okay? They're coming right after you, Empress. Because you're the one with abundance, but you made your own abundance. You created your own abundance. I really feel like these dogs here are no match for this leopard. I don't think there's a whole lot that they can do about abundance that you created with the divine. But they are going to be pretty upset. Pretty upset. I feel like you could possibly be moving away soon anyway person watching for some of you that's not going to be for all of you but you're just kind of waiting you're kind of waiting um, using your intuition on the timing part of it I feel because see you need to you need to wait until all these people leave the scene in order for you to get in this boat and get out of here but you're leaving all these burdens behind you're not you're not gonna put these burdens back in that boat no 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 yeah, I think you've already decided. You're like, I'm taking my pentacles, I'm taking my leopard, and I'm getting out of here. Away from you crazy people. Like, for real. And that's the justice here. That's the justice. Yep, scales will be balanced after that. Meanwhile, your person will still always be thinking about you and with someone else maybe because it looks like this person here this queen of pentacles may lose that big bowl of pentacles she's got there and only wind up with two pentacles she went from that big big bowl of pentacles to only two yeah But I feel like this this um, Queen of Pentacles is going to want to come straight towards you with a dagger and two barking dogs showing teeth once her pentacles get taken away. I think you'll already be outy by then. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like this is your person's energy. They're always going to be holding on to your energy, but, uh, and whatever pentacles they've got hanging on for dear life, right? Um, but always going to be um, holding back communication, I feel, from you. This person is, is holding back communication from you. They are. They're just, one, they're in total stagnancy, overthinking everything, trying to, um, trying to make a um, strategic and wise decision without even seeing the main issue here like they're always going to be like this just sitting here thinking and thinking and thinking and holding back communication you know I'm thinking fine by you man 
fine by you. You've gotten clarity here. You don't need anyone. In this energy, you don't need anyone. Anyway, guys, listen, that's what I got for tonight. Um, I hope that resonates and I hope it helps. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. And until next time, take care of you and peace out.